Hello friends and welcome to arupediaworld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, as from the past few sessions, we were discussing about the types of elements present in the modern periodic table. So now we shall learn something more about the positioning of the elements which actually depends on the characteristics of the element where we categorize the positioning of the element in the modern periodic table with respect to the periods and groups where periods are the horizontal rows we have seven periods and we have 18 groups which are the vertical columns in the modern periodic table like this this is the modern periodic table we have the arrangement and the class that is the classification of the element like this we have the vertical 18 columns and we have seven rows which we call it periods now friends the characteristics which makes the element get the position in the modern periodic table are these kind of characteristics where the physical and chemical properties of these elements show a regular variation in the periods and groups of the modern periodic table so now we, we will now discuss how the various properties of the elements or you can say the characteristics of the elements change on moving across the period or moving downwards the group of the modern periodic table. So firstly we shall start with the valence electron where the valence electron is the electron which is in the outer shell of the atom that can be lost to or shared with the another atom to form a molecule. Now we shall understand the valence electron, the property of element by two phases, first by group and then we shall learn about the this property by period that is the positioning of the element by group and by period with the property of valence electron. So friends, let's understand by group property. So all the elements of the group of the periodic table have the same number of valence electron. For example, we see here we have a group 1. All the elements of the group 1 of the modern periodic table like lithium, sodium and potassium have one valence electron each in their atom. This is shown more clearly like this I have kept in a tabular form where we have a group number one with the three elements as an example we have the electronic configuration of lithium 2 and 1 sodium 281 2881 for potassium where the number of valence electron they have in common is one so the atom of the group one element lithium sodium and potassium can lose their one valence electron easily to form a positive ion like Li plus or you can say Li positive and a positive K positive respectively having one unit positive charge so one group that is group number one element are monovalent having valency of one and ionic in their chemical reaction please note friend here that the hydrogen element which has been placed at the top of the group 1 in the periodic table has also one valence electron in their atom and also form a positive ion H plus as we are not showing here the hydrogen in the above table because it is non-metal whereas all other elements of this group are alkali metals on moving downward in the particular group of the period, the number of valence electron in the elements remain the same. Yes, we shall get uh, some more examples like we have take the group 2 example where we have kept three elements as an example beryllium, magnesium, calcium with electronic configuration 22 for beryllium, 282 for magnesium and 2882 for calcium where they have two as a valence electron in a common so all the elements of the group two have two valence electron in each of their atom as you can see here the atom of group two element beryllium magnesium and calcium can lose their two valence electron easily to form positive ions that is be e2 plus 
Mg2 plus or calcium that is Ca2 plus respectively each having two units of positive charge so the group two elements are divalent that is having a two valence electron and ionic in their chemical reaction friends please note that the fundamental difference between the electronic configuration of group one and two element is that group one element have one electron and group two have two valence electron now let's come up to the one more example I have taken example of group 17 where I have taken fluorine chlorine bromine as an example with the electronic configuration 27 of fluorine 287 for chlorine and bromine for 28187 where the valence electron in common they have 7 so the group 13 element have 3 valence electrons each as group 14 have 4 electrons each, grouping 15 has 5 electrons respectively. Group 17 have 7 electrons in each of their atom. As the group 17, we call them halogens. Fluorine, chlorine and bromine have 7 valence electrons in each of their outermost shell. As the atom of group 17 elements, fluorine, chlorine and bromide, have seven electrons each in their valence electrons so group 17 accepts one electron easily to complete their octet and form the negative ion like F minus that is F negative Cl negative and Br negative having one unit of negative charge so group 17 elements are monovalent and form negative charge ions so they are also called the electronegative elements now we shall understand the group 18 which we know are the ga noble gases so here we I have taken helium neon and argon as the examples of this group 18 you can also call them group 0 so all the elements of group 18 have 8 valence electron in each of their atom except helium which has 2 valence electron in their atom this point will become more clear from electronic configuration like we have 2 for helium neon we have 28 argon 288 with the common valence electron 88 for the neon and argon and the helium with the 2 so all the elements of group 818 have 8 valence electron in each of their atoms so the outermost shell of the atom of the group 18 Elements are already completely filled electrons. So these elements have no tendency to lose or gain electrons. Due to this, these are called zero valent or unreactive elements. Right. So what comes the conclusion for this? As since all the elements in the group have similar electronic configuration, they show similar chemical properties thus element in the group show similar chemical properties just because they have the same valence electron throughout vertical so now let's come to the some main points which we can understand and remember in mind that if some elements have the same number of electrons in the outermost shell of their atom then they belongs to the same group of the periodic table the second main point we can understand like here is that the element in the group do not have consecutive atomic number like Na11 then we don't have the vertically the any other element as it with the 12 atomic number so now we shall discuss how to find the group member of an element in the periodic table to form the number of valence electron in their atom so now you can please note that first if the group number of the element have up to two valence electron is equal to the number of valence electron that is this I shall make you understand why right friends first point means that if the valence electron is 1 then the group number is 1 
Similarly, if the valence electron is 2, then the group number is 2. Now, if what if the, if there are more than 2 valence electron, yes, the group number of element having more than 2 valence electron is equal to the number of valence electron plus 10. That is, number of valence electron plus 10. For example, if the valence electron is 3, then the group number is 3 plus 10, that is 13. Similarly, if the valence electron we have is 4, the group number is 4 plus 10, 14. Similarly, we can write till 18. So friends, this is how we have some very common and important points to make us note that about the elements and the properties of elements and re with respect to the group. Now friends, let's understand the properties of element and the positioning of elements on the basis of their valence electron with respect to periods. Friends, in the characteristics of period we We'll discuss the variation of some of the important properties. But now let's understand the way the property of valence electron with respect to the periods. As we know, on moving from left to right in a period, the number of valence electron in the element increases from 1 to 8. That is true in the first period, it increases from 1 to 2. Let's understand by this example. We have the electronic configuration of the third period element to make this point more clear. As you can see here, there is one valence electron in sodium, but there are eight valence electron in argon. Thus, the number of valence electron increases from one in sodium to eight in argon. That is, the first element in every period has one valence electron and last element in every period has 8 valence electron except the first period where the last element helium has 2 valence electron. That is the exception. Friends, now please note that the electronic configuration of element in the period changes in, the, in such a way that the number of element in the outermost shell of their atom increases from 1 to 8. You can see here I have sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine and argon. And res with respective electronic configuration, you can see the outermost shell having the valence electron as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, respectively. And the other point which we should note that the element in the period have consecutive atomic numbers which we don't have in, P in the groups. For example, element in the third period from sodium to argon have continuous atomic number from 11 to 18. You can see here. I hope you have understand and it is now more clear about the positioning of the element on with respect to the valence electron in the periods and groups. So now let's understand some points. The first element in every period has one valence electron and the last element in every period has eight electrons. Second, the electronic configuration of element in a periodic changes in such a way that the number of outermost shell of the atom increases from one to eight. And the last, the elements in a period have consecutive atomic number. Now friends, let's understand with the conclusion that the horizontal line where we have valence electron increasing from 1 to 8 and the vertical columns, the groups, 
where we have the same number of valence electron in every group with respect to the group number. As group number B1, we have the one valence electron. Group number 2, we have two valence electron. Group number 3, we have three valence electron and respectively. So here I end up with my session of the valence electron. Friends, in the next session, we shall discuss the valency as the property of the element with respect to periods and groups. Next session, we shall discuss with the continuing session of this. Thanks for watching Edupedia World videos.